Okay, the second bite wasn't didn't hit me as quick as the first half of that, the bottom half of it. Um, very slightly bad aftertaste. Maybe I got used to it. My palate's used to it already. Um, it's got a sweet taste to it. Definitely has a little bit of a sweet taste. Uh, it's different than if you if you grow the purple tomatillos or those other ones. This, you know those kind of tomatillos it's definitely different than that it's almost falling into like a gooseberry or uh, what do you call those things ground cherries but large obviously much larger this thing's bigger uh, it's kind of going into that area of taste and sweetness wise uh, but that aftertaste guys oh man it's, it's skunky it's like eating mold or something like, a, like like eating that black mold. What I do for my viewers, huh? Eating this thing for you guys. I would. I'm not eating any more of these. I guarantee you that. It's very possible that wasn't ripe, guys. Because as I'm eating up towards the top up here. I don't know if you can see it on a camera, but it's starting to get like more juicy and see like over here is more white. It was foamy like. Man, that was disgusting, that white part. The the part where it got juicy is more almost tomato-like juicy like feel to it, but don't taste like tomato. Just kind of that texture, that that kind of feel. I'm, I'm gonna put the rest of this down. I'm gonna eat it in other words. Sorry about the lip flapping, by the way. I don't eat like that on a regular basis. I just do that to get the sensation full taste all the way around my tongue into my sinuses. I do that too when I kind of kind of taste wine a little bit so I can get the full essence. I want to give you a, a, a real good description of what I'm experiencing taste-wise, you know. Um... Has a very slight skunk taste to it. Very, very slight. You know what a skunk smells like, people? Picture taking a tiny little bit of that skunk juice and putting it on a tom tomatillo and eating it with it with and add sweetness to it. It's kind of like something weird, like very slight skunk, very tiniest bit of it. It's all part of that after effect. You know, after you swallow it. Your, your sinuses kind of fill up with the, the, the smell of it. Um, it's kind of like that effect. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty interesting berry. Um, like I said, I, I probably won't be eating this one again. I won't be eating. I, I will probably try eating one of these when they're totally ripe, like just about gushing out seeds. I mean, these things... These things will sit on your table for a long time. I, a lot of times I take stuff and I let it sit out just to see how long it 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 lasts. I mean, I don't really care. I'm not going to eat it anyway. I just want to see how long it's going to last before it starts to mold or starts to rot or, you know, and once I see it starts going bad, then I try to get the seeds out of it and I discard, you know, all of them them pulp matter I used to give all that to my chickens but I would get the seeds out of it fully ripened uh, so these tomatillos I've had tomatillos like fall on the ground and sit on the ground in its little husk thing I don't know months six months and eventually the husk part it all the skin in between those veins all that skin wears away and you're left with this like cage around the tomatillo like a hollow cage like a net almost and uh the tomatillo is still in there with the net rotted away and everything i if i if it does it this year on any of the tomatillos i got i'll show it to you it takes a while for that to happen but i have seen that more than once uh yeah so that's uh that's your tomatillo i guess i think it with the name of this one was the amarillo or amarillo or something uh tomatillo uh like i say it'll be on the title in the description and everything so yeah that was pretty unpleasant for me so hope you enjoyed that
and I will see you on the next one.